Ed, uh, welcome to Exeter City and uh, not a bad place to do your first interview here on Exmouth Beach in the oh, lovely sunshine. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, sun, sun's just come out, so uh, perfect timing. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Really excited for the for the new season, and I can't really wait to get started. I think it's a move that's been in the works for, for quite a while. Are you, are you pleased to finally get it over the line? Yeah, I mean, I think I first heard about it about a month ago. Uh, my agent sort of said that there was interest there, and as soon as I heard, I was just like sort of desperate to get it to get it done. And it's finally uh, materialised, which I'm, I'm really happy about. I know you said you came down yesterday. I, th thankfully, only for Manchester. I was worried that you had would have driven all the way down from Gateshead. Yeah, Manchester. Uh, it's about four hours. Um, drive was actually really nice. Um, so yeah, it was it was good to get down here, and obviously first day today, um, meet the boys and stuff, which has been really nice. When you had that first conversation uh, with with Gary Caldwell, what did he tell you about the club and about the role he expects you to play here? Yeah, we had a, a good, like, sort of honest conversation uh, on Zoom, actually, and he just sort of told me about um, the club, the way it's sort of fan-owned and, and the connection that the fans have got with the players. Um, and that was something that I sort of had last year as well with Gateshead. There's a real good connection there. Um, so I think that's something in which, which which suits me perfectly as well. I'm, I'm really excited to, to play in front of the fans. Um, and he just sort of, you know, ran me through the way that he wants to play and, and different styles and stuff, um, formations and things like that, and where he sees me fitting in. Um, and it all just really, really appealed to me. So I was, I was really excited. Just looking back through through your career, I mean, you started out at the Man City Academy. I imagine you probably some big names that you played with with there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've been really fortunate to have to the sort of career that I've had. Um, it's been, I mean, a really good youth career and then sort of working my way into men's football. Um, going up to Gateshead obviously had a, a really good season last season um, and yeah I've played with some big names and I think that those boys that are doing so well now I think it just gives me, me confidence to know that I've sort of played with them and I can sort of achieve those things as well. Obviously you've had success in your career already and you've, you've played various different types of football I mean you've played in the Netherlands played in Switzerland what are those experiences like for you? Yeah, I mean, I think I was 18 when I first went to, to Holland and it was something that I always wanted to do. Um, I was probably a little bit young um, at the time and it, it was difficult at the start and it took me a while to get used to it. Um, but those sorts of experiences, uh, the sorts of things which I think have helped me, especially mentally, um, deal with things a lot better than, than I probably would if I hadn't had those experiences. And of course, you, you had a promotion co campaign in Notts County, and then obviously last year you won at Wembley with uh, with Gateshead. Those those two experiences must have been fantastic for you as well. Yeah, to be at Notts, which is such a big club, and and sort of help them get back to to where they belong was 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 amazing. Um, that was such a good season with so many talented players. Um, and and then obviously last year with Gateshead again, it was a really tight knit group, so many good players. And I think last year was probably the first year where I've had a full season, like sort of played every minute and been allowed to show my talents and express myself. Um, and I think, you know, that's that's sort of paid off. I've been able to show everyone what I can do and, and I really enjoyed it. Had the vice captaincy at Gateshead as well. Did you see yourself as a bit of a leader? Uh, yeah, I think that was sort of something. I mean, I was 23 last year and, and the, the gaffer gave me that at the start of the season. I wasn't really too fussed about it, but I think as the season went on, I, I managed to captain the team quite a few occasions because Greg um, Ollie was, was injured and I think those sorts of experiences at quite a young age uh, helped me. I'm someone that hopefully lads can, can speak to. I mean, I'm still quite a, a young head, um, but a lot of people have said to me that I've got like a bit of an old soul sort of thing. So, um, you know, like I think, yeah, I enjoy that those sorts of roles um, and, and I'll try and help the lads as much as possible. Yeah. You suffered a, a nasty injury at the start of the year playing for Gateshead against York and, and, and fractured your skull. You came back a, a lot quicker from that than I think many expected but I mean what was that like for you and, and how is it now? Yeah I mean when it happened I was I was worried I mean fortunately I didn't lose consciousness and uh, I think it sounded a lot worse um, sort of in the press and stuff that, that came out um, it sounded a lot worse than what it was uh, I was only out for three weeks and it turns out it was just uh, like a cosmetic thing um, so it's nothing that, that affected me sort of like with my head and that but it sounds obviously really bad um, and yeah, you know, I came back in three weeks and I, and I was fine. I was, I thought, I think I had a little bit of, um, probably when it happened, when I was, I went to hospitals, rushed to hospital and I had a, probably a, like a short realisation, maybe this could be the end of like sort of my career. It could be really serious. Um, and then to bounce back from that, like in three weeks, I was, you know, just obviously over the moon. Um, and my health is obviously the, f the first, um, the first concern, but no, that, that was all, all good and all been sorted out now. So, so I'm happy to move on from that. 
It obviously ended with that with that Wembley win with Gateshead as well, so not a bad way to end the season. Um, yeah. Describe yourself as a player. Always a, always a difficult question, I know. Yeah, um, I'm somebody who loves the ball, uh, loves to con control the game. Um, with the ball, I th I'd like to say I'm someone who tries to communicate on the pitch and, and help others around me. Um, I'm probably the sort of player that when the team's playing well, I'm probably having a good game. Um, but you might not notice, I probably won't, you know, take on five people and score, but I might score the, the, the odd worldy um, here and there. So, yeah, probably just someone who loves to, to control the game with the ball. And, 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 and I also like a, a tackle on the other side of things as well. Uh, and just finally then, obviously, uh, I'm just under a week to go until our first pre-season game. How excited are you to play with the lads for the first time? Really excited. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously the, the break's nice and stuff. Um, the first few weeks on holiday is good, but then as soon as you're back from that, I just want to be back, back playing football. So, so next week, I'll be really looking forward to it. Fantastic, Ed. It's a pleasure to have you here and uh, best of luck. Thank you.